Hello guys, my name is Encryptech Kalash and today and welcome to my 10th video on C++ programs. And today in this video, I'll be making a program which calculates HCF for any two numbers entered by the user. You can also check out my last video which I've made on uh, how to calculate LCM using C++ because both of these programs are related like their logic is same only there are little differences. So without wasting any time further let's get right into the video. The first step as usual is to declare some variables and initialize them if necessary. So the four variables which I will declare are the following. So the first uh, variable which I have declared is first. Now uh, the responsibility of this variable is to store data and th that is the input of the first number which will be entered by the user. Same with the second. Only difference is that it will uh, store the second number entered by the user. Now mini over here. Uh, this is a short form for minimum. So this um, variable will store the number which is a minimum from these two numbers. Now the reason b the reason is that um, sometimes the HCF of two numbers can be the smallest number. So let's take the example as four and eight. So here the HCF is four, and this is uh, this variable uh, is used f in for loop. After declaring some variables, the next step is to ask for input from the user. Now to do so, we will use couple uh, C ins and C outs. So this is how it's done. See out. So now we have to uh, like ask for input for, from the user. So this one uh, will ask for the first input and this will ask for the second one as you can see. Now the next step is the most important important one because uh, this step will allow us to find the HCF of those two numbers entered by the user. So first of all we will be using this variable over here and like we will be finding out the number which is mini like which is less from these two so to do so we will be using ternary operator So what this mean? This is actually alternative for, for uh, if statement. Like this is like a short way to do that. So here, what we are saying is that if first is less than second, then mini is equal to first, else it's equal to second. Now the next step is to create for loop. In this, we will be using the variable i i, which is over here. I'm sorry. Okay, I I will be equal to minimum or mini. Then after this, it it should be more than equal to two, uh, one, because if the numbers are not related, like uh, eleven and thirteen, their HCF is one.
now in this uh, we will be printing out this So now we will be printing out the LCM if this uh, uh, test is satisfied. And after this, it is really important to um, print out a break, uh, like, uh, sorry, I mean, type in break. Now, the reason is that um, if we don't, uh, like, uh, type in break, then it will continue the for loop till the time it's ended. So, suppose, um, let's take the numbers a, uh, 4 and 8 as we had taken before. So, if this break uh, statement wouldn't have been there, then it would have printed this, like, I think so, two times because it would have printed 4 as um, mini is if mini is equal to 4 then 8 divided by 4 is e 8 mod 4 is equal to 0 and over here uh, 4 mod 4 is equal to 0 and then also 2 is also the same so 8 mod 2 is equal to 0 and uh, 4 mod 2 is also equal to 0 that's why it would have printed 4 and 2 but we want the highest of them so we need this break statement um, sorry, uh, I have found out one mistake. Instead of mini, it was triple I. Uh, my bad. Um. So now the reason it's I, I is because mini will be the same number. And it won't decrement, so that's not the thing we want. So here it is. So let's check all the brackets. So yeah, we have completed the program and yeah, you have to add II, like I forgot this, how am I forgetting everything? Um, we have to add II here because then what will it print? So here it is. So yeah, now it's the time to test this program. So, so here it is. Let's take the first number as 6 and the second number as 8. So according to me, the HCF should be 2. Bingo. It is 2. So guys, I hope you loved this video, or at least liked this video. Um, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel for m uh, more videos like this. Uh, I make uh, videos on uh, C++ programs, uh, Lego EV3 like the robotic kit, uh, C++ shapes or patterns you can call them. And if you are interested in my other videos, you will be just seeing the links of my playlists on the screen. So do watch them if you are interested in them. And thank you once again.